Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with part 5 of our New World mod campaign as Persia for Rome 2 Total War. And in the last part we did take our offensive against Bactria to the next level by taking out uh, their city of Bam and Farada over here which has some lovely lovely wine. And uh, we defeated a few armies along the way, if you haven't checked out the last part I would def definitely recommend you go and do so and obviously if you haven't seen if you just like come into the campaign now, I'd start from the beginning. Go and recommend you go and do that. But before you go and like click off this video and uh, click on to like one of the previous ones, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. But anyway, now we are past that, we will get on with the campaign. And I think in this part, I would like to try and take out Articoona up here. I'd like to try and take Susea and uh, basically probably try and break away. Uh, break up uh, Bactria's like empire to relatively like till they're pretty much worth nothing, and then we can probably debate about breaking away from the Seleucids, uh, as they will probably be no opponent to us really. Um, but we're going to need some more armies if we're going to fight on several different fronts. But I'm sure we can do it. Um, so, but yeah, we're going to put this army into Bam next turn to secure it there. Farada is looking happyish at the moment, but we'll sort that out when everything's built there. Um, but for now, we'll end the turn, and we'll see what occurs in the end of this turn. If uh, Bactria might make some offensives, as I thought, yep, it's going to go for Harmosia. Does mean our rear is uh, under threat, but we can deal with that. We'll recruit some more troops. Armenia has attacked. Oh, blummin' heck. Uh, I could rebel against my overlord now, but I will defend them. It looks like we're going to be at war with Armenia, which is excellent, because uh, I just needed another war. <laughs> um, and it looks like Pergamon has raised an army. I will probably be raising another one in Gazaka to try and make a small army to keep an eye on Armenia. Uh, trouble population, okay. Thank you and all that. Lovely jubbly. But, uh, I mean, I'm going to need... Yeah, that's really hurt my economy, has uh, that end of trade with Armenia. Which is annoying, but um, I'm sure we can sort it out. And I think I'm going to go with uh, probably this guy here. Whatever his name is, Polymon or something like that. He can go and sit in Gazaka. The Forgotten Warriors. Uh, and the Forgotten Warriors for right now are not going to get any troops. They, I can't afford to give them any. And we're going to mo move on Gabala, get the gold there. It is uh, undefended, so we should be able to take this nice and easily. I'm just going to take it. 54. I can afford the losses for now. I'm not really under threat too much. And Gabala is mine. Excellent. Oh, we lost some Alamnites. That is annoying. Ah. Oh, didn't really want to lose any Alamnites just now. Um, a wrestling field? I mean, that was not a bad idea. These aren't actually awful things to have here. Does help with uh, a lot of other stuff. I don't think I can recruit more Alamnites. No. That is a shame. But our, our money has gone significantly up because of that. We're now earning 16,000 or 1,600 a turn. Um, I'm going to at least allow this guy here to recruit some troops. I mean, he can recruit some Alam Knights. That's not the worst thing in the world. But uh, I'm going to have him get some Spar Barra and some Slingers. You can get more, so let's get more Spar Barra. Any more you could get? Mm, yeah, get some Slingers then. And that's it, right. Some Spar Barra and Slingers should do the... Do the job, hold the line. Um, Farada here is, uh, well, pretty happy. Bam, needs securing. I don't know why they haven't returned to go and deal with Harmosia. Harmosia is uh, very much under threat, we'll put it like that. And this uh, garrison, I mean, it'll hold for a while, but I don't know how long. Could try and kill him. It's cost a lot of money. Uh, I mean, we can try and get him upgraded. Enemy wounded. There we go. We did actually wound this guy. Excellent. I mean, that might upgrade him. I don't know. It should, really. Um, and then, well, yes, yeah, kind of all there is to do. I don't really have much else I'd like to do. I mean, there's anything in Persia I can build? Ah, oh, yes, yeah, Gore. I wanted to build something here, didn't I? I didn't really need more food. I'm pretty sure I wanted... What did I want? What did I want here? Public order's okay. Do I want an infantry camp? I mean, I could. I probably actually want something to do with economy, so I'm going to put a pit mine in. 
into Gore. And then uh, that'll help with economy. And then Farada, yeah, you're okay. I mean, I could really do is send my spy up to go to Ata Kuona, but I mean, because we can now see that this army's here. I know that this army's around here. It's not going to really move on from here. So we're going to end the turn. Oh, we've got another side skill. Yeah, he did upgrade himself. Very nice. Let's see which one, like, helps with making you more deadly. So, chance of wounding yourself, okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Wicked. Yeah, we'll go with Wicked for now. Make it harder for people to kill you if needs be. Hopefully, Bactria don't take Harmosia. No, they've fallen back. They're actually moving up towards Perspasolis. Okay. Well, we might need to go and defend Perspasolis then. I might start moving the army back from Bam to do that. I mean, they are they're damaged, but I don't think they're they're too badly damaged. And the army from Pergamon just disappeared. And Harmosia decided to go and camp in the middle of the desert. Okay. I mean, if they go and besiege Pura. That's not the worst thing in the world. Pirates in Carthage. Okay. You can't reach there. You're a pretty battered Bactrian Royal Guard. And the farm is done. Okay, well. I could go up and north and go and see what's at Articona, but I mean, I'll then probably lose whatever engagement that is. Um, or I can... Well, I can't really do much else, really. You're rec you've recruited your troops. Gabala... I mean, I could bring you across the border, recruit some Alamnites. Is this my land? It is, Gazaka. Hmm. I might do that just for now. I kind of want to have this Alamnite unit back here. They want to try and besiege Armavir while I have the chance. While they're building their armies elsewhere. Because I imagine the uh, they're fighting the... Well, mainly fighting these guys down here. Pergamon has actually taken Edessa. So it looks like the Seleucids are going to die uh, very soon. So, I mean, I might be able to break away earlier than I think. I mean, there's hardly anyone left. The Seleucids are just about hanging on. Then, like, I don't even know what they're doing. Nabatea even holds Jerusalem. What the heck is happening in this part of the world? Rhodes now holds Tarsus. Yeah, I mean, the Seleucids are falling apart. I've taken Jura. Oh, do they always hold Jura? I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. But I am basically holding together their empire in the east. Uh, whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. I probably should give up at some point. Um, I could... Could get some camels instead. Not that I really need them. Could get Persian cavalry. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. Can just... Next, well... Yeah. Next turn, could get rid of my Persian cavalry. Get some cheaper ones. I really want to get you to move up, though. 10 against 19. I don't think that's... I really have enough. Perspasol should be able to hold its own. 20. Oh yeah, that should be able to hold its own if they assault. And they can't get far into the desert. And they can, can't get very far at all. And if they attack Gore, I think I've got a decent chance. So we'll uh, end the turn. And we'll uh, we'll see what happens. I don't think they will try anything. I should have actually sent my spy carried him on moving. That was a mistake I should have done. Ah, anyway, Bactria is falling back anyway. It doesn't like its chances going further and further into the desert. The desert is not their ally like it is mine. Pergamon's not appearing after it hid itself somewhere in my lands. How rude of them. War declared. Sabra and Nabatea, okay. I'm now going to march directly on Amramvir. I could go for Tushpur. I mean, they've got a lot of grain there. But I'm going to carry on. I mean, next turn, I should reach the city. And then I can put it under siege. Then we can take it. And then after that, I will move south to take Tushpa. And then probably go on for, I don't know, Armaceta. I'll see what they have at Amran Vier. I forgot I have this spy. Uh, army sabotage. We could sabotage supplies. Yeah, why not? Mission failed. Okay. Well, that's rude. And now we can't move, which I guess is a bad idea. We should have done intel. I mean, this is a tiny army. It's not going to stop our advance. Um, I mean, we have this army here as well. We can always do something with that. They are fortified here. Pergamon, I mean, isn't that... Again, that's not the end of the world. That's a 16 against a 14. I built the army not really for Pergamon, more for Armenia, thinking they were going to send a stack out. 
I can send the Skeons of uh, Skeons up, really. I mean, Harmozy is never going to be that happy because it's got food that it's building constantly. Farada is ready now, so I'm going to disband you. Brings more money in, and then put in the Persian version variant. Be a bit cheaper, well, massively cheaper, about three times cheaper. Um, and then you'll build. You've built your Lamnites. I could build more. It's fourteen hundred. I'm gonna probably do that. I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna put in Persian Brigade. Uh, and one more Slinger. Hold the line. I mean, we could get archers. They are just as expensive and do more missile damage. Yeah, let's get some archers in there. Why not? I I don't know. It's going to be a strange army, that one, but I kind of want some archers there. I'm probably going to be breaking away from Seleucids maybe this turn now. Armenia's kind of forced my hand. I kind of want If anyone else attacks them, I'm definitely going to break away, and I can just about be able to hold my lines. Is that army there? There's none. Oh, there's that one there in my, like, deep in my lands. I might have to attack that, like, on turn one, if I, uh, when I do it eventually. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Bactria is trying to get its army back. It's trying to fall back and not hold Pura. That works with me. I can put my smaller army into besieging it, and we can do what we want. Looks like Amram Veer is going to be garrisoned by the time I arrive there. As long as no large armies come up to support, that's fine. I can always avoid it and go straight for a Tushpa. Trade language. There we go. Gore is lands are open to the enemy. They're, but they're not, really. I don't know how you've worked that out, but they're not. But uh, I don't mind losing a few little bit of support. It's fine with me. Um, I am going to build the engineering, I think. And we've got more troops. That means our economy is taking another hit. But that's fine. And Armavir is free to siege. And it's got a blooming huge garrison. That is a huge garrison. I might not even know I should be able to assault that. And Tushpo has got a large... Well, not a large army at all. Uh, let's move to there. We should be okay, unless any... I don't think any large armies can really hurt us. That one can hit us, and this one can hit us, but they're not large enough to actually do any damage to me. So I'll go for Tushpa next turn, I think. I can always send up the support of the Forgotten Warriors, but... I mean, that Harpy's... Yeah, that Harpy's score is not even really an issue. You are starving. Why are you starving? Your troops are deserting because you can no longer sustain them. That's not the case. Oh, it's because of extreme drought. Well, maybe we do march on Articorna then. Or they're going to have the same issue in their region, so... Maybe that's not the greatest of ideas. Maybe I'll just hold here. Extreme drought. It's very strange. Uh, anyway, Pura. Undefended, as expected. I'm going to try and kill this agent. Because that agent might cause us some issues. Assassination failed. What is the garrison like here? 16 to my 10. Not great odds. Not great odds at all. Especially if this army decided it was going to turn around. I'll just ho I'll hold off on Pura for now. Uh, I could build a bigger grain silo. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. But I could build a better pit mine. If I wanted, uh, I think I might build a better trench mine. I mean, public order here is pretty good. Doesn't seem to be too much of an issue with that pit mine there. And I think I'm going to end the turn, I think. Can this guy reach in one turn if I want? Yeah, he could reach in one turn if he needed to support. He actually could have supported in the assault on their capital. But uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'll do with that second army there. It's always good to have a backup. Ah, oh, that's perfect. If they're going to come over to try and attack me at Farada, I can try and get rid of that army on the road. And then that leaves the north open. And they're going to besiege me at that city. Okay. 
Well, that means I'll have to go north. Tushpa will have to be, well, left. I can use the army at Gazaka to attack Tushpa. And the main army goes up to relieve the settlement up there, yes. Okay, right. Plans are being formed. Can I get past... I can get past without them. They've got an 18 stack. If they try and assault me next turn, I think I can hold them. I think. I might have to be a bit cheesy, but I could probably do it. The Almic Gabala is pretty solid. It's not full, but it's pretty solid. I could probably stop whatever that is for a force. So I will move on Tushpa. Well, they. Uh, I might lose. That other settlement. Ah, oh, I can't actually attack them. That's annoying. Well, we'll stay in our city then. While, now that we survived our drought. Could this army attack them? No. No, it couldn't. That's infuriating, but... We live with it. We live with it. Sousa's doing its thing. I could build something here in Ektabana, but there's no need. Not Ektabana, Gazaka, actually. Gabala could build more stuff. I could put in an even bigger garrison thing, or a better garrison thing. So I might do that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having that there. Could I get any trade with anyone? You're at war with... Who are you at war with? You're at war with all these people that... I am not at war with. Oh, are at war with as well. Oh no, I'm allied with them, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to find people that are... That are... Uh, well, let's... Trading partners, basically. Pirates I've found now. I didn't realise I'd found them. That's interesting. They really like Armenia because they're at war with... Everyone that we're at war with. Well, they're at war with uh, us. And I didn't realise. How pleasant. Um, but yeah, this is a basically a full stack of cavalry. I could probably scare it off with this army. Along with my garrison. Now, if I can destroy that army, I probably destroy most of Armenia's uh, resistance. But we'll see. We will see. Um, I could try and kill her again. I mean, I'm not really that bothered. I need to get over here to Artakona and have a look at what's going on there. I know it's Impura. And it's a load of rubbish. How far can you reach? Oh, you can get a long way. You can get all the way to Artakona next turn, I think. No, you can't. Okay. So we could find you next turn, and we could kill you. Oh, I didn't move my spy. Ah, oh, well, I should have used my spy. Maybe used him to harass their camp up north. I don't know. We'll see. Armenia might strike us now. If it does, then we have a big siege to defend. And we'll be doing it as cheesily as possible. Ah, yes, here we go. A big siege to defend. Right. I will see you guys in a moment as we defend this, well, this siege. So see you guys in one moment. So we are back on the battlefield, or in the siege lines, I should say. And, uh, well, it looks like they're going to assault the walls, as expected. I'm going to hold the walls, uh, as expected. With, uh, well, whatever we've got, really. I'm going to probably just put all of my villagers on this wall. Because they're just going to assault this long wall here. Um, I might just hold them, like, there there and we've got plenty of other stuff ready so I'll put all my villagers here I'm then gonna have my archers in behind shoot them as they come off the wall and then I'm just gonna wait until they try and do something with their cavalry which uh, God knows when that will be and then I've got all of these reserves ready we've got all the Takabara we've got Spowbara as well which should be ample enough for us to uh, push them off the walls, really. I'll put one of them on the walls, I guess. Just ready. But uh, they should hold pretty o pretty much okay. And we'll put the spar barrel like here. Is that everything? Yeah, there is. Right, well, let's see what they can do then. I don't think they can do anything. Our ancestors and the gods are watching us defend their people. What are they going to do? Are they going to send up... What they do? They've, they've not got much infantry, which is the thing. If I kill all this infantry... Then they've just left with archers, which they can send up. I'll kill them. And then they've got cavalry, which they're going to have to burn a gate and then charge spearmen. 
They didn't think that through, did they? I mean, their cataphracts are the only one I'd possibly have to worry about. If, I think they brought like a load of skirmishers and horse archers by that. Yeah, all horse archers are skirmishers after that. Well, I can live with that. They're going to put slingers up onto the wall first by the looks of it. Which, again, I'm pretty happy with. If they're going to send horse skirmishers to go and burn stuff, I'll just send like one of my Takabara there and they can go and stop them. But we'll see what happens. I mean, I've got plenty of archers, again, like I said, just to shoot anything that comes off this wall. Stop them from winning, decisively. Against my poor villagers. Actually, I didn't have any artillery. Could have done with some wall artillery just to blow these guys up. But here we go. Here is the start of, uh, well, the siege. It looks like they're not even going to... What are they going to do with that Eastern Slinger? I mean, I could just send my villagers to go and kill them. Yep, yeah, looks like my villagers will be killing some Slingers. Excellent. Right. We'll wait until these guys clump up a bit on the walls. Are they sending up archers as well here? I didn't even realise. What a waste. Oh, no. You can't do anything there, apparently. Right, kill them. These all slingers going up. Wow, they're sending up all their slingers to try and fight that right. Kill these guys. I mean, yeah, you can see what's just going to happen. It's just going to be a lot of shooting of people that uh, can't do anything back. Wow, my men are already wavering though, in fairness. More men up onto the wall, possibly. I didn't expect the villagers to do much, but I expect them to do a little bit more than that. We'll see what we can do. I mean, end of the day, if we lose this, which I don't think we should, we can just kill them with uh, the army that's coming to their relief. And there you go. One of my armies or one of my units has died. I mean, let's just let's activate every single uh, archer at this point. We are routing some there is, which is good. As we should. To shoot every big blob there is. And look, what the, what is the cavalry doing? What is the cavalry doing? I have not a clue, but it might be being smart. And I don't like it if it's being smart. But we won't worry about it. Nope, they're just repositioned like ever so slightly. I think they're just worried about the tower fire? I don't know. Already the villagers are breaking. Well, that's fine. Send the Takabara in then. I mean, this is just brutal. I don't want to know how many like kills these guys are getting. They're probably making it a lot easier than it was. Kill these guys. Come on, kill these axemen. Push them back. This is pretty brutal. <laughs> it's a nice night battle, though. I'll give it that. And what's the cavalry doing? Messing around. They're getting shot is what's happening. Are they seriously going to try and charge the gate? Are they going to come up here and burn it? They are indeed. I had a spar barra. Get that ready. Hold there. Wow, they are actually playing sort of smart, but I mean, I wouldn't say it's that smart. Uh, shoot these Persian archers, or whatever they are, slingers. No jabbies, wow. They are running short on stuff. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah. It, it's looking a bit. It's looking a bit thin up on this wall already. There's a lot of dead. Oh my god, they're running like maniacs. And my spears, my endless spear line will hold. Who's wavering? These villagers. That's fine. Yep. We're just gonna have some spear, a spear line ready and waiting for them. Once they burn this gate down. Then they got to try and get through it with oil. That's the other thing. I don't actually... Yeah, we should have oil. Form your shield wall. And I'd like to see them try and get through. Shoot them. Shoot them. Shoot them. Shoot them. And then we'll just flank these Eastern Axemen that are left on the wall over there. I mean, this is an easy victory. This is what the AI does, though. It doesn't play any tactical sort of brilliance, and it makes siege just very easy to defend. And I haven't even got great troops. I've got like two units of actually decent troops. And what's been happening here? They've been b trying to burn this gate, I think. Uh, I think they're getting shot more than they're burning it, though. And we might actually just defeat them here and now, and then we can go on and probably re-siege their capital or take somewhere else. I don't know. I mean, look at that. They're not even throwing them at the right... That's surely not... It's doing barely any damage. That's fine with me. I've got plenty of stuff ready for them then. I'll get archers ready in a moment to go and shoot them. Yeah, let's actually... Let's start doing that. Let's start doing exactly that. We don't need all these archers here anymore. Um, You start shooting them. You start shooting them. You come over here as well. And you come over here as well. We don't need any more here. We're going to kill every single one of their Eastern Axemen. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Not yet. Hold your ground. Well, hold the ground. Look at that. Just look at that. They're breaking because they're getting shot. This is just what it's going to come to. This is what the AI does, especially with Eastern factions. It's like, yes, we just, we want lots of cavalry in our armies. Don't think they're going to, like, if they was just, was Pergamon or someone else, I would be absolutely, like, in trouble because they're actually going to bring, like, hot plates and actually decent armies. And now we're going to fire some volleys over this wall, hopefully. Here we go. And they're going to start to drop. Yeah. I mean, I could put stuff on the walls, actually. That's probably an even better idea. Let's do that. Let's put you on the walls. Be far more effective. And there we go. We killed every single one of them. You can also now go on the walls. They're either going to have to dismount or they're going to have to try and continue to burn down this gate. I have a feeling they're going to continue to burn down this gate. Uh, I mean, these guys are so good. That's the thing. These elite, these are Persian elite archers. I just realised these aren't even like my bad ones. This is like good archers as well. And so they got like spears. They're actually decent in combat. I'll bring my general over here as well. Don't even need him here. And yeah, I mean, this is gonna be a crush of troops. Oh my god, it's so bright here for some reason. Did everyone just bring a torch? Doesn't it look glorious? It does look glorious. Crush them. We still have villagers in there. Um, start shooting these guys. Well, and then, I mean, this is going to look very easy, I think, to achieve victory, isn't it? Let's have them all fire at will. All my archers, they can just shoot anything that comes too close. Look at these poor hull skirmishers just being shot at and they come too close. It's hilarious. Got the Royal Cataphracts as well. They're barely taking any damage though. I'm not even going to sally out. Why would I? Why would I? Focus them down. Fire some volleys into this slot. 
It is setting in our favor, you are correct. Can't do anything wrong right now. Excellent. Are my generals under attack? What from? Oh, is he being shot over the wall? There. <laughs> you cowards. Look at that. Their general's wavering. Everything's a general route going on here. Excellent. A heroic victory. I mean, it was going to be. 330 losses. We killed over 1,500 uh, of their men. Easy. One of their units got 121 kills. Everything else just dis got destroyed. <laughs> I mean, no surprise. And their small army that's going to attack Gazaka is going to have the same same uh, results. It's just not going to do anything. Um, but I'll see you guys in a moment on the main campaign map. So here we are, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna release captives. I'll be a generous man. We don't need. Uh, we don't. I could do with the money more than I could do with killing these guys off. We can do the, exactly the same again if it ever happens. I'm not really too worried about that. And here comes an army from Parthavia. Slaves, yep, yeah, everyone else. Tushbra should fall next turn. To this army. Oh no, it can't. It can't go through the woods. Well, that's annoying. It won't fall this turn then. Um, we have an army here though that could do with besieging Amramvir. So we'll put that under siege. Have some ladders, and I think that'll do. I, can I force march to you? I can, but that won't help. So don't do, don't bother doing anything. You, army sabotage. Yeah, let's try and sabotage and see if we can do any damage to. Uh, well, the army. I don't know if that's going to slow the army, or I think that slows the army. You are going to stand there and raid. How rude of you. A 10 against 17. Don't like my odds. You can... I don't know. Come around here. And then you can just stand there and wait. Uh, I could make an ambush. I don't think there's much of a chance of getting a good ambush off here. But we can risk our chances if we wanted to. But I'm okay. I stand there. He's got to then come past me on the road to uh, Ferrari. He can't just cross this river. He cannot cross the river. Um, Bam, you're looking fine on everything. Per Perspisolis is doing stuff. Oh, we have a population surplus here in Rahaga. Well... What are we going to build here? I'm thinking, again, something for economy. Could go down to administration, do stuff on tax, just damage the public order, the old public order a bit. Um, so I'm going to do the old pit mine, I think. Build more pit mines. Exabana could do with having a population surplus as well. And having like some foundries or something built. We've got more... I mean, what's this garrison like? This is 18. How many turns should it hold out for this? Three turns before it'll surrender. I could happily siege this for three turns and carry on, well, stopping them attacking me here every single turn. I am fine with that. They keep sending armies. I will keep crushing them. This army might attack me and that might make it a bit of an issue, but we'll see. I've got, I mean, we've got a hillman here. We've got plenty of hillman we could use if we need needs be. Um, but I'm going to end the turn one more time, I think, and then we'll wrap up this episode. We'll see. So we'll do one more turn, unless there's, there's a battle, then, uh, well, it could be a little longer, but um, we'll see. Mm, look out. Yeah, line of sight's always useful. What you're useful for. I don't think they'll attack me, though. Oh, they're going to pull back, and they've got more armies, so we're going to have to go back to Farada. Which is fine. Um, means that we know that there's a few defenses around Articuona. I could possibly catch one of these, uh, these guys out. They are going to attack me, but not with the army I thought. What's their army? I mean, I could... F I could probably fight that. But I'm going to say no. I will withdraw. Withdraw. 
So now it's going to be harder to fight. <laughs> um, I thought we'd fall back a little further than that. In all honesty. Um, but we should be able to win this. I might need to do some plays with uh, Sirius here. But I'm sure we can win this. We've got some decent infantry. They've got a bit of decent infantry, but then they've just got archers. So we'll see what we can do. So I'll see you on the battlefield for another clash with Armenia. So we are back on the battlefield, and I've decided I'm going to hold this area here. It's like sort of... It's sort of defending this like point up here. I might actually try and get further up the hill. No, I can. Um, get further up this hill. Hold this line back here almost. Yes, it's very risky, but... I'm vastly outnumbered here. here. And I'm gonna, I can't really take them on one by one. I would, I was debating taking them on, but uh, they have far too much cavalry, or more cavalry than me. It's not all that much cavalry, but it's uh, more than I have. Put it like that. My spar barrack can go there, and the alumni can just sit at the bottom of this hill. And my general can sit sort of here. It's going to be very cramped, but we'll do with what we can. So I'm just going to fast forward. Wait for this army. This army might attack me now they see I retreating. I don't know. They might. What have they got? Eastern Spearmen, Eastern Axemen. Some Cav, but not much. What I can't do is allow this Archer Force here. This is the large army, I think, appearing. Yep, this is the garrison. I mean, mo they have mainly... I want to say mainly uh, rubbish, but they do have a lot of Archers. They still also have some horse skirmishes as well which if I can route them great I might actually put some of my I might put my archers on this flank here let's try and spread stuff out a little bit he's a bit better let's put you about there put you about there put you about there let's put the Persian brigade so it's not overlapping to about there there we go that'll do General can sit about there. Slingers about there. And these slingers about there. Excellent. That's all we can do, really. I would quite happily fight them otherwise. I should have fought them earlier when I had a better chance, when it was just the one army and the garrison. And then the other army might have not bothered. But it's not to be. It's not to be. I made a mistake. It may have been a grave mistake as well. But yeah, it looks like they're setting up. I mean, this is the general back here. Is that the cataphract general? I think it is, yeah. So we can kill him. It's a good chance. He might charge in. Get himself killed. If he does, then we'll form square with all my ta uh, Takabar or whatever they're called. Because they're really good in defense. I mean, I might do that anyway if the inf when the infantry charges in. I just need to uh, keep Cirrus alive back here, so he can go around and run down all their archers, because that's going to be the real pain. I need to get them to engage their main line, which they should eventually. And they've got all these horse skirmishes as well, which are going to be a pain. God, I thought I'd beaten your, your already Armenia, but you might beat me yet. You might beat me yet. I might cause me some issues anyway. I can just always use the other army to raise mercenaries and more Persians. I mean, this army I don't think will get out of here because I've retreated once. If it's like Attila, you retreat once. If you then lose your battle after retreating, you die. So this might end, might end sourly. Let's just reform that line. Don't want to hold in the line after all my... Preparations. Don't want a hole in the line. There we go. I mean, there's still one there, but we can fill that with the Lamb Knights. Here we go. The Persian... Not Persian. The Mercenary Horse Archers are arriving. Just spam these guys out, they do. Guess fire at will at them. You're shooting over here, actually. What are you shooting at? Just about everything. Yeah, try and shoot these horse skirmishes. Here they come. Yeah, shoot these horse skirmishes. These guys are going to be the issue. I'm not really too worried about these infantry. It's Eastern Axemen. Oh my god, that was a good shot. That was some good volleys. Um, Now maybe start shooting their Eastern Axemen. 
Yeah, we're wavering all of their... Shoot that one, please. We're wavering most of their horse skirmishes. That's a good start. We can start with breaking that, but they've killed a lot of my Persian Brigade, which is not nice. Don't appreciate that. Shoot these. Come on. Now can... I don't know. Can you shoot them, please? And then maybe, I don't know. Oh, you're coming back for more? You bold, bold man. A foolish man, I should say, really. I mean, we could definitely swing around this side with the Persian Brigade, and I probably will do so once they are uh, dealt with. Shoot them. Shoot all them. I think my infantry's engaged. Yep. Yeah. Now I just got to hold the line. There's a lot of pressure here, though. Gonna have to put one of the alarm lights there. My general's under attack? Oh, that's not good. Uh, but we should be okay. We should be okay. We can ride them out. Swing the Persian Brigade around. Engage there. Engage them there. Swing these guys around. Oh no, you weren't supposed to do that. Men are wavering. Okay. Where are the men wavering? In the center. Not great. Not where I wanted them to waver, really. Uh, Alam Knights all get shunted across that way. You need it there. General, run down these guys. Okay, they're broken there. That's not great. But we are just about going to hold the line. Alam Knights get in there. You can cut all these guys down. I need all my archers. I need you back there. I can't have you flipping dying... By doing suicidal things like that. Snipe their general. It's very dishonorable, but snipe him. Persian Grade, charge in. You shoot there. Persian Grade, charge in. Hold this line. Shoot them. Shoot them. Pull through. Go on to the next one. Look at that. Look at that chain route. That is nice. That's what we That's what we want to see. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this might be savable. This might be salvageable. Um, charge in there. Get them. If we can surround these guys, there is hope. Make an infantry line there. Good. You are dealt with. I want you really on skirmish mode in a moment. Uh, all archers focus down this cataract general. Every single archer needs to focus down that cataract general, if possible. Hillman. Here, mercenary Hillman. Kill them. Uh, you're not going to be able to get him yet, but that's fine. We can keep you there. General, just hold your line. Uh, start shooting the Royal Kalfrak, General. Can you go on skirmish mode, please? Yes. Charge them. Yeah, the General's dead. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, start shooting with this massive blob here, then. Enemy General is dead. Excellent, excellent. Right, there we go. This might be salvageable. We might actually win this. Not that I'm going to be able to take the advantage and chase these guys down. The Spar Barra's all dead. Which is a shame. Shoot these horse skirmishes actually as well. They're going to be a pain to kill. Get as many as possible. Get as many of these guys as possible. Run these guys down. One of our units has used all its ammo. It's not my archers. It's my alam knights, I think. My spar bar has just about held the line on that flank. That's done such a good job there held the line. Yeah, they're all going to run off the edge of the map. Continue to try and get as many of these guys as possible. Not going to get many, but get as many as possible. Oh my gosh, what a victory. This hill camp in the end just about paid off. Just about paid off. Jeez. Well done. Oh my god, stop firing at tiny little units. Yeah, we'll end it there. Quit battle. Close victory indeed. Wow, we lost a lot. We lost 8, uh, 853. They lost their entire army, or about half their army, actually. Hopefully they lost a fair amount of the garrison. I'm going to have to really put the city under siege. 
I might bring up the army that was going to take Tushpa to just reinforce. He's got more Sparbara for me as well. But yeah, they did so well to the Sparbara. Getting 177 kills. I think that's one of the best. My Lamanites getting 179. My Persian, actually my Persian brigade 202 kills and my general obviously getting 318, but running down archers don't count. We don't count that. But yeah, well done. Uh, I am not going to be giving that captors back. I will kill every single one of these guys this time. Cannot afford to give away them uh, captives. Uh, and then we'll put Am Armavir under siege once again. Wow, I did not expect to win that. That's a huge victory. Huge victory for the Empire. Engineering. Uh, I'm going to just do that. You should still be able to reach. Yeah, you're going to have plenty of your energy left to come and reach. Uh, 92. Yeah, that's fine. Cut this guy down. That's one less army that we've got to deal with. Uh, let's just kill them all. You should be able to force march and get yourself, well, I'll put you there for now, but you're going to just besiege. And then you can stand right beside. Let's just go and see if there's not there's not any huge armies waiting for us out here either. Not that I can see, that's good. Uh, we should be okay anyway, we've got some fairly fresh troops coming up. I was just seen there. Um... What could we do here? We could... Yeah, I mean, Siege Tower, yep. Yeah, I could definitely do with developing the Siege Tower. Bring down, like, the amount of turns it's going to take. It's going to take two turns to capture Armavir now. Uh, the garrison is significantly weakened. That's what I like to see. And, uh, yeah, I think, well, we're going to have to retreat here at Farada because more armies appeared. That's fine with me. I can hold there. Perfectly fine. The army at Bam might need to come up soon, though. Um, but we'll see what we can do. The article owner. Nothing else here. And its garrison is not fully full strength. And they might have to fall back because that might rebel otherwise. Thunderbolts of Zeus. And the other one, not. I mean, they nearly make. Uh, they nearly make a, a full 20 stack, but not quite. Then this is a pretty weak and battered army that's been running around in the desert for it as long as I can remember. Anything else that we could really do with building? Media Magna's doing okay. I think Caucasia's is doing fine as well. Yeah, I think we're okay. So that's where I'm going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show support. And until the next part, Legionnaires, bye.